Hello guys, welcome to today's video. We are here shopping. All right, you go look in the toy aisle. We are shopping because we need chicken food. So, but they're huge. I just need little pans. So the pans that I have for my goats to eat out of, they break. Yeah, those are cute. Do you guys find that this material in here gets sticky though over time? I, those I was are, thinking of those. They're never gonna break, especially in the winter. No, they won't. I don't, Canada has nothing for goats, you guys. So no. These are the things that we were thinking of before, right? The small ones? Yeah, but, so I love those. Those are my favorite feed pans of life. They don't have any small but ones. But if they had tiny ones. But they have black now. That is cool. When Gabby gets her new horse, that's the color. Look at it. They have a black pan. Fine. Feed pan. What do you think? What do you think of these for the goats, Sophie? For the goats? Because they're the can smallest. Lola get one? What? Can Lola get one? Yeah, Lola can have one. Oh. Yeah, we definitely need those. Water here. So this is a perfect size for the goats because right now their buckets are so big and they're not big drinkers. Yeah. So I waste so much water filling up their bucket. This is the perfect size for them and they're heated so that they can drink all winter. So these black ones are $20 more and they're the same, you plug them in, but they're so much bigger. That's what you want? Yes. Where you can put quail eggs in it. Oh, it's an incubator? So Sophie really wants quails, but why did I say no to quails? Because they need a completely different setup, but then a while ago you said let's get quails. <laughs> Okay, Shh, don't tell them that. So I don't mind getting quails, but it wouldn't be like right away because we need to really set things up. I like this for the My chickens nails. too. Oh, I love those. So I saw a bunch of things laying around our house that we bought at the Royal that we forgot to show you. Sophie got four packs of these? Yeah. They're adorable. Those are her cow nails. Our coop isn't really that big for this though. I know, you'd only have to fill it once though. I know, but you'd only have to fill it once. I'm just copying everything stuff. you say. We had enough eggs. We have a lot of eggs right now. Like our chickens are laying a lot like right now. True. But we have two that are down. Anyways, we are trying to figure out all the things that we need before Sam goes into surgery, which is happening really fast. He did so much work yesterday and he's gonna finish all the things he needs to do today. That's why we came to get the chicken food. What's that? Oh, rat stuff? This is the stuff I need to fill those black boxes. Nesting boxes, those are neat. I feel like we're gonna redo our our chicken coop in the spring. Our little kitten, oh that's cool. Too small for yeah, duck. too small for the duck, but it's heated. But you could get this submersible stock tank thing. Oh, I looked for the, the stock tank things that we have and I couldn't find them. So ever since we moved, I can't find our, our ice, our stock tank de-icers. I know that they're there. I saw them one day. I remember I put them someplace and now I can't find them. Isn't it weird that we hardly saw any brushes at the Royal? It is dark and dreary and rainy today, but that's not gonna stop us from having an awesome day. I am starting to fall in love with this barn and all the things that we can do in here now that it's almost winter. Our chiropractor, equine chiropractor, comes tomorrow. I wanna fix up these mats. We're gonna do something different than what we have here. It is pouring out there. Um, I'm excited about this light thing. If you guys haven't seen it yet, Sam put a light up there. I don't know how to turn it on. And cross ties, and so we can do everything we need to do with like the farrier and the chiropractor and the massage girl. We can do it in here. We have this huge garden patio heater and we're gonna bring that in here today. Sophie, I'm in the barn. Are you going down? Yeah, we're going down. All right, I'll meet you there. Lola is the best little goat on a walk on a leash. Anyway, it's really dark in here, I apologize, but I need to, I have to go through this stuff and find Gabby's coat and I wanna do it before tomorrow. But I also want to discover all of our Christmas decorations and we bought some new ones. I wanna go down to the goat barn and try and hang some stuff up, decorate for Christmas. Sophie wants all my stuff for her room. You know what, I'm gonna bedazzle my goat stuff. So I thought we could use those. I made those last year and I actually really like them. Yeah, and the rest of this stuff is probably... Well, where's, oh, this is Daisy's. 
Yeah, so she Sylvie, needs to get her stocking. Sylvie's yeah. already been shopping for Daisy. So this is all the stuff I bought for the barn today. I'm not, I know, I love those. I might be opening I was thinking we could. Bedazzle their stalls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bedazzle their stalls. And I thought that we could put some stuff up here to decorate it because this is like a little sitting area. And then I got this little flower thing to put over here. And actually I was going to put something red on there to make it more Christmassy, like a red little little cover. Yeah, we have scissors down here. Let me just check on the goats. Oh yeah, they're all good. Oh, hi babies. This little white one here is in heat right now. So Sam's supposed to come down and put some wood over there to block that little bottom. See over there so that no air can come in there. And then I'm gonna cover it with that straw that's there. Hi, <laughs> we're making your barn Christmassy and then we will show you when we're done. And we have little tiny Lola down here. I almost called her Mia. Wouldn't Mia be a cute name? She's not a Mia character. Sophie's super creative. So I imagine she can do amazing things. But um, you guys know we have a ton of grapevines on this property, like so many grapevines. And we are going to, I'm gonna use those to make a giant wreath for the front door. Do you like your stall? <laughs> this is her stall. So I also got these ribbons, Sophie, which are kind of like a neutral color, kind of like burlap. And I thought that that, actually it's not even gonna pop down here, is it? It's gonna kind of just blend in. Anyway, you could put this along there too. Okay, so look at Ellie. I dress her in two coats so she's warm and she just gets covered in mud. All right, so I should have maybe got the red ones cause that's not even gonna stand out. And then I got these little things. And then I got these, <laughs> which I like too. I'm dazzling my So I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna put the camera down and we're gonna figure this out. And then I also have some really huge balls. I'm actually gonna go see if I can find those because I wanna hang those up on there. So hold on, I'll be right back, okay? All right, so I couldn't find anything that I wanted. I found a wreath that I want. I found the staple gun and the staples. That's all I have, unfortunately, but I will find the things that I need to make this look nicer. Also, I didn't get lights, but actually there's so many lights. Where are all of our Christmas stuff? Like always, we're not gonna be able to finish this in one day, but we are gonna get started. All right, so I've hung up some garland. <laughs> I'm not really into decorating. So um, I am going to make a giant wreath though with some grapevine. There's, it's all over the whole property. Yeah, you can hang it wherever you want. So this is what Sophie's got going on so far. So she's got some bows and some garland. I need, like, and then she hung up these, she's gonna hang up. She's gonna get another one of these, five more of these, and she's gonna hang them up on every post and it's gonna look gorgeous. The other thing I didn't get were the lights. I couldn't find them. Sam said they were there. So this is just the beginning, guys. The beginning of making our barn very Christmassy. And we're gonna do the other section too. Definitely don't put that where the goats can eat it because they will eat it. You should do all the doors with that green or alternate them green and white because that's all we have left, our green and white. So uh, you guys know how I tell you I dream stuff all the time. I always dream stuff and it always comes true. I pretty much dream my future. I know like what's gonna happen from here until the end of my days. I know what I'm gonna get sick with when I get older. I know like how I'm gonna act. I see so many things in my dreams and so like this farm, I probably started dreaming this farm when I was a teenager, just little bits and pieces of it and I couldn't piece it together until I saw this farm. I dreamed that yellow room, that living room. Um, but in the last year, I've had accelerated dreams of being at this barn, the trees in front of the house, and just so many aspects. And I've been able to tell Sam like so many things that are gonna happen to us. But what's really weird is that when I dream into the future, things that are gonna happen like this year, and things that are gonna happen in the next couple of years, I dream me vlogging all the time. Like almost all my dreams in the next couple of years are me vlogging. I dream like it's the weirdest thing. So 
I when I see the things that are happening, I don't plan to keep vlogging past the time that my kids are grown up. Or like even in I don't know, I think like even a year is beyond the time that I think that I'm going to end vlogging, but Every time I dream it, I dream me vlogging. I, vlog I show you guys so many of the new things that happen to us. And it's just weird. It's just the Why do you guys think that when I talk, mm -hmm. it means that you guys need to come and bother me? Like, honestly. <laughs> These dogs think that they're mine. Ouch. I mean, this one is mine. This little one. <laughs> so I found a Christmas tree, like a tiny Christmas tree that we're going to put up in the other barn and I'm going to make some wreaths for the other barn. I, you know the window sill in my room? Yeah. I got a tiny Christmas tree and I put it there and then I put Daisy's presents under it. Aw, did you wrap them? No. Aw, that's so wrapped. cute. Listen how quiet the goat is. She has food. Well, she always has food. Yeah. She Unless we're going for a walk. Maybe that's why she cries when we're going for a walk. She wants the food. You know what I never realized? I never realized you can see the whole other side of the barn from this stall. Isn't that weird? Do you guys see it? There's like a window behind that hay feeder. Okay, I have the best idea. Why don't I should get wrapping paper and wrap these stall in between need, the stalls. I'm gonna need two more of these. All right, we're gonna make a list. We'll go again. Maybe we can go when Gabby gets home? Yeah, when Gabby gets home. So right now we're using these big, huge buckets. I just refilled this one this morning, but they are never going to drink that. So I'm just wasting so much water because I have to change it every day. They are never going to drink all of this either, but it's a lot less waste. So these are the buckets that we got. Two gallon heated buckets. There's a plug here that I can heat, that I can uh, plug it in for the girl stall and then over here. This is where we keep the boys. There's a plug right there that worked out so well um, And then we got all the rest of the black buckets. They These had for chickens. Yeah, they only had four. They're for horses, too Chickens. Oh, so anyway, we're gonna use these so right now I'm using these buckets and I love them like I absolutely love them I love the color but one day I came down and that happened because it's brittle material, I know that it, they're gonna break during the winter, so I'm gonna replace those with these ones. I wanted like cute ones. Who doesn't want cute ones? So that is garbage now. All right, so it does not even remotely look like Christmas here yet. <laughs> so we're just starting. Yeah, I like it. I like that you're doing this. I'm gonna get wrapping paper and I'm gonna wrap this up. Put wrapping paper in here. But this uh, definitely looks more festive. So Sophie's gonna give Lola some grain. It's like her baby grain. Lola, well, it's right here. This stall has now become my favorite stall. This we haven't set this up at all. I had no idea that there was a window here. I just never even noticed it. There's a window that looks out. Like you can see the door. I like it. So when. The mamas give birth. This is gonna be milk stall. Big stall. This is my least favorite stall. It's not set up. It doesn't have any stuff in it, and then it's got a pile of dirt over there. Awesome is trying to get in. All right, are we done for now? Until we get more stuff. Well, let's wait till she eats her grain. All right, well, let's wait till she eats her grain. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the